hopefully know that Kevin Belton wears many hats as chef, teacher, TV host, and feature reporter here on Eyewitness News. But even so, he was ready at the drop of a hat to try on some more. And in today's special, a tip of the hat to a place that's been selling them for more than 120 years, Meyer the Hatter. For years, people have been telling me I needed to put a lid on it. So I'm at Meyer the Hatter, who's been helping people put lids on since 1894. So let's go meet the Meyers. <laughs> Now, Paul, yes. at one time, gentlemen always wore hats. All the men wore hats, yes. And, and starting That's back to, I see we have a top hat here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, this came out in about 1840s or 50s. Which is very stylish and makes you a little taller. Yes. This is the bowler. English people call them bowlers because it was made by Mr. Bowler. But the Americans call him a derby. You know, everyone always sees this in the movies. Sure. But this is actually a real hat. It's not made for just movies. It was actually used. This is the very finest stiff straw. This is made in Italy, outside of Florence, Italy. Buongiorno, come stai? Mangia, mangia, mangia. And not only do you have men's hats, but you also have baseball hats, and then you have hats for ladies. We do. Here's a beauty. This is for the ladies. Got the nice flower in the front, wide brim. So you don't lose your top. You have to come and see a New Orleans institution. Come see Paul Meyer and Meyer the Hatter. That's today's special. For WWL, I'm Kevin Belton.